Hello everyone, welcome to History and Culture. When people think of the artistic and literary women of the Republic of China era, they often picture talented figures like Lin Huiyin, Zhang Ailing, and Xiao Hong. These women not only left an indelible mark on literature but also became subjects of much discussion due to the emotional entanglements shaped by the times. However, there was another extraordinary woman from this era, lesser known yet remarkable for her unconventional life experiences and literary creations, Yu Meiyan. Known as the most eccentric woman of the Republic of China, Yu Meiyan stirred the entire society with her sensational life story, notably mentioning her relationships with 3,000 men over four years in her book. She not only became a best-selling author but also briefly surpassed the literary elites of her time. Yet, despite her fleeting success, Yu Meiyan chose to end her life by drowning at the height of her fame. A tragic decision that continues to evoke sighs of regret. By delving into her life, we might glimpse her brief yet dramatic existence and the challenges she represented for women of that era. According to historians, Yu Meiyan was born in 1900 in Taishan, Guangdong province, into a wealthy merchant family. Her father, Yu Daing, was a well-known pawnbroker in the region. And her mother was an educated woman with a deep love for literature. This privileged background allowed Yu Meiyan to grow up in abundance, with her mother playing a significant role in her education. She not only provided her with material wealth but also exposed her to Western education, teaching her English and encouraging her to read Western literary works. Yu Meiyan's mother had progressive ideas and encouraged her daughter to explore Western culture, especially books that discussed female independence and gender equality. Under this upbringing, Yu Meiyan developed a liberated and open mindset from a young age. She not only championed individual freedom but also scorned traditional Confucian values. However, her parents' original intention in raising her was not to lead her to a career peak but rather to groom her into a distinguished socialite who would eventually marry into a prominent family. As was common for most families during the Republic of China period, a daughter was ultimately expected to secure the family's status and interests through marriage. At the age of 16, Yu Meiyan began to boldly showcase her beauty in public. She often swam in revealing swimsuits, unbothered by the judgmental stares of others. She believed that a woman's beauty should not be confined but openly displayed. In a society where feudal thinking still held sway, such behavior was undeniably subversive. Her sense of freedom and openness won her admiration from many men. During her studies, Yu Meiyan demonstrated remarkable talent, excelling in her academic achievements and showing a deep passion for the arts. She worked as the art editor for her school's newspaper, which made her a highly regarded figure on campus. However, in matters of romance, she was quite unconventional. She once passionately confessed her love to an outstanding male student multiple times, only to be repeatedly rejected. Later, she pursued another boy who had previously declared his feelings for her, only to heartlessly abandon him not long after. Thus, Yu Meiyan became known as the eccentric woman on campus, and the number of men she dated steadily increased. Even the most popular boys at the school were infatuated with her. However, Yu Meiyan claimed that she had never experienced a genuine romantic relationship. It seemed that Yu Meiyan enjoyed maintaining control over her emotions, seeking freedom and autonomy in her love life something extremely rare for women in that society at the time. Yu Meiyan's first marriage began at the age of 17. At that time, she caught the attention of Tan Zuping, the son of a wealthy businessman. During a national sports event, Tan Zuping was the epitome of the tall, rich, and handsome ideal, immensely wealthy and strikingly good-looking. However, despite Tan Zuping's deep affection for her, Yu Meiyan was unwilling to marry him. What she sought was a connection of souls and true love, not just a piece of paper binding them together. Yet, in the society of that time, 
women had very limited choices when it came to marriage. Under pressure from her parents, Yu Meiyan had no choice but to marry Tan Zuping. At first, her married life was relatively happy. Tan Zuping showered her with love, and they shared some common ground. However, this happiness was short-lived. As Tan Zuping went to the United States for business, Yu Meiyan was left to stay at home and live with her in-laws. Tension in her relationship with her mother-in-law and conflicts with her sister-in-law soon made her marriage unbearable. Yu Meiyan, who was used to freedom, could not endure the constraints any longer. She eventually decided to escape from the Tan family and set out for Guangzhou in search of a new life. Not long after, her first marriage ended in divorce. Upon her return from Guangzhou, her father arranged for her to be sent to a vocational school, hoping not only to restrain her behavior but also to guide her back to the right path through handicraft learning. However, after a brief period of restriction, Yu Meiyan's personality underwent a drastic change. She resolved never to be bound by societal expectations again. She began to pursue freedom on her own terms, boldly expressing herself in social settings and frequently attending high society gatherings, where she became a notable figure. Yu Meiyan's rebellious nature, combined with her beauty, quickly made her the center of attention in social circles. She was hailed as the Red Flower Goddess, symbolizing a new era of bold, open, and tradition-defying women. To her, romantic relationships were fleeting encounters, and she toyed with the affections of men who were captivated by her, all while reveling in her liberated lifestyle. Not long after, Yu Meiyan met a Hong Kong businessman, Mr. He, who was twenty years her senior, at a banquet. He was moved by her beauty and tumultuous past, and the two soon fell deeply in love. Yu Meiyan was even willing to become his concubine and move with him to Hong Kong. However, the tranquil married life did not quell Yu Meiyan's thirst for freedom. She became addicted to gambling, spending money recklessly. Which eventually led Mr. He to lose patience with her, and their marriage fell apart once again. After her second marriage ended, Yu Meiyan fully embraced a free-spirited life traveling the world and engaging with numerous men. She knew that one day she would lose her youth and beauty. So she never gave her heart fully to any relationship. Publicly, she declared, not every man is worthy of spending a night with me. This carefree attitude allowed her to navigate the world of love effortlessly. But it also left her increasingly lost. At 25, Yu Meiyan met the son of a county governor in Nanhai. This princeling was smitten with her at first sight and vowed to marry her. The two began a trial marriage in the countryside, and for a moment, Yu Meiyan believed she had finally found true love. However, when the young man's family learned of Yu Meiyan's notorious romantic past, they vehemently opposed their union, which eventually led to the relationship's collapse. After enduring one emotional setback after another, Yu Meiyan's mental state began to deteriorate. She traveled to San Francisco in the United States, hoping to start anew. But during a chance encounter, she ran into her ex-husband, Tan Zuping. This reunion did not bring new hope, instead, it made her realize that she had nowhere left to turn. In the end, Yu Meiyan chose to end her life by jumping into the sea at the height of her beauty and fame, a decision that shocked society. Once a dazzling figure adored by countless men, she ultimately succumbed to emotional despair and a sense of hopelessness in her life. Yu Meiyan's story reflects the plight of many women of that era. They longed to break free from the shackles of traditional Confucian values, seeking individual liberation and true love, yet they could not escape the social scrutiny and judgment imposed on them. Yu Meiyan's dramatic life serves as a profound reflection on the fate of women in that era. Her story is not just a personal legend, but also a poignant symbol of the turbulent times in which she lived. This is the History and Culture Channel. Liking and subscribing are the greatest help and support to us. Thank you everyone and see you in the next time.